Okay, guys, well, let's start. Um, oh. My name is Guillaume Sawi, I'm the political director of the Swiss Fire Party. I'm also board member of uh, the uh, State of Geneva section and a member of the Antrax Commission, uh, the Swiss Fire Party. So, I do a little bit of business around politics and only politics, and I'm not doing any administration or stuff like that, or participating in any popcorn generating activities, unfortunately. I prefer to do my own cooking. <laughs> okay, what is the, the, the topic of today? Well, a little bit over 15 months ago, I was approached by two members of the Suspire Party, uh, namely Alexei Roussel, its current president, and Daniel Tseskovsky, a founding member of the Geneva section, which is standing in the corner at the back back there. And they were having a challenge. They wanted to go in the local election campaigns in Geneva. And they wanted to do something that was more than honorable in terms of scoring and engage in activities um, around that. So, what are, what are the, 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 the problems that we're facing? Well, nobody knew about the Pirate Party. You could ask anyone outside the Pirate community what was the Pirate Party. What, what could the party do for the citizens? No answer either. What are its core values? Didn't know either. And how does it work? No answer either. <laughs> well, and then they asked me, well, what can you do with that? And I looked at um, Bob Vinkis, uh wheel, or chart, or whatever you want to call it. Tried to give it to anyone and challenge them to go to the fourth level and then remain coherent with that. <laughs> Doesn't work. <laughs> There's someone I, I, I like, which was quoted by, by, by Gregory yesterday, which is Albert Einstein, also known as Master Yoda. Oh, for the one who, who, who don't know that, actually, Yoda is a, correct, a, a, a sketch from Albert Einstein. Um, if you can explain it simply, you don't understand well enough. Now, my question to you, who in this room is able to describe the, the parent party in 60 seconds? I asked the same question a year ago to the General Assembly of the Swiss Pirate Party. And what I have as answers today were exactly the same as a year ago in the Swiss Pirate Party. Because I'm fairly sure that Nobody in this room is able to do it in 60 seconds. Am I right? But it's not to criticize or, or operate you guys. But is it accurate that nobody here can do it in less than 60 seconds? Can you give it a try? Okay, go ahead. So, the fire movement is an international movement that started in Sweden because the, at that time the, the political scene was not what the new generation was satisfied with. Because we criminalized people for collaboration, for information sharing, there should be European values. So the pirate movement puts focus on freedom of information and uh, protection of privacy because that should be the main concerns of this new digital uh, digital generation. Okay. Now, if you say that to anyone in the street, what will they take away from your message? Sweden? Sweden? Criminal? Sharing? Stealing, Yeah. But about it, we are not we are a political party or movement. What do we do for the people? 
what is a differentiator to the other parties? We do permanent education about politics. We try to get people involved into politics. And that's a big difference between other parties. Yeah. But in the explanation that we've just received, which is exactly what, what was the, the answer in general, this message is not contained. The fact that we are an enabler between an information revolution and a current brick and mortar world is not given. That we build bridges is not given. That we foster empowerment of the person is not given. That's a message. Now, what I've been going to be presenting is for one, a work in progress. For two, it is highly situational. What I'll provide here is not something that you can repeat out of the box. They are just a toolkit that you can use to leverage communication. And last but not least, this is real work. It is not my fantasy that has been thrown on a, on a PowerPoint and comes out of, of a box and hasn't been used. What I'm going to be presenting is what the Swiss Pirate Party is using to develop its political program, to foster communication, to increase its media visibility, and to gain access to governance body. So this is concrete politics. It is not about terrorists. It is not about saying this person is better than the other. It is just, here are tools to enable you guys to go and play politics. My job as political director is not to give an ideology, is not to censor ideas. It is to enable the party, the militants, to play politics, to go out there, out there and score and win and increase their visibility and gain traction. So, our project has, has really worked as being transcultural, meaning that it is not just French-speaking part of Switzerland, it is Switzerland as whole. Well. It means it can work elsewhere. Two, it is situational. The tools are not there to be an end-all and be-all. They are there for you guys to be able to use them and go and, and disseminate the message that you need to disseminate. They are an enabler, meaning that you can take an average militant in the pirate party, give him the documents, have a speech with them, coach them a few hours. They'll take the message, integrate it, use it to enable the communication, whether it be written, oral, or, or altogether relational. This is not about defining an ideology. It is not to define a program. It's about a communication approach. It's about doing politics. And it's about grabbing the key elements of our foundation, our elements that, that make the Pirate Party and, retreat, and, and provide them in a synthetic, synthetic way so that people can, can, can use them and leverage them. So, in terms of issues, we talked about it, it's, it's, nobody knows the Pirate Party. I mean, we surveyed about 100 people within the Lake Geneva region. And not just the average geek community, not, not ourselves, but people from outside. Ranging from state councillors all the way down to the quote unquote 35, 55 household women. So, looking at us critically and not just congratulating ourselves. And the answers we got from all the way to, from the top to all the way to the bottom is oh, it's you, Guillaume. Well, I'm going to be kind with you. It's a nice idea. That's coming from, from a, a, a minister-president, from, from a, a, a canton. Politicians said, ah, funny, well, maybe in 30 years. 
And the average person, the pirate what? They didn't know it. They didn't know about it. They didn't know what we could bring to the table. And when we had reactions, it's, you don't fight for anything, just copyright and sharing and illegal stuff. Oh, and, and yes, you are technophobic, nine -stack. You see the, the, the bad and the evil anywhere. You don't want us to, do, to progress and have a better society. That was the feedback that we got. Is that what we stand for? Exactly. And what is what, what are you talking about in terms of politics? Do you have a program? No, you don't. Do you have a manifest? Oh, and do you have an action plan and on how to change things? No, you don't. Or what do you have? Oh, you have technical on the spot solutions. <coughs> okay, yeah. But how do we create the value? Because being technicians, is that explain politics? Providing a solution in a political framework is jumping the, the gun in the development of politics. Not having a clear path toward change means that you can only be situational and tactical. You cannot build a program, you cannot build changes you want to see appear in, in, in the in the, um, in the society. So you're reactive and not proactive. Um, what you see here in the presentation um, is an actual slide from my presentation a year ago to the Suspire Party. And if I'm hearing you like that, as silent as that, well, it was about the same reaction they had on that Saturday afternoon during the General Assembly. If we look at the environment in the Swiss political environment, well, the first thing when I started to talk with Paris was, nah, it's not democratic. It is not this. It is not that. It's, it's not open to, to democracy. It is corrupt system. Yes, there is corruption. There is everywhere corruption. There is always money, business, and so on. No problem. But in terms of political system, have you used it? And up until last year, effectively, it hadn't been the focus of a lot of people to use the system to do changes. Criticizing the system in, in, in meetings and being very vocal about it was the satisfaction of people. But doing the politics, going in, in the grind, and making changes, that was not yet the case. So, the first environment is, the first assessment was, yes, we have a mature political system where direct democracy works. Might not be the case everywhere. If we look at the environment, well, there are a lot of players, highly competitive. What we have in Switzerland in terms of relationship building and trust building is a very long cycle. You don't shake the hand of someone on the street and within the hour they're your best buddy. It doesn't work like that. The quote-unquote sales cycle goes from 12 to 18 to 24 months until you have that trust relationship with the person in order to provide, to give him an idea he will agree to. Of course you can be reactional. Yes, you can go and, and hit the belly and, 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 and the guts and find feelings. But that is already done by the populist, the far right movements, which have this fantastic, or actually, um, or like, where's the, the garbage uh, can over there? So I'll go puke afterwards. Um, they have this fantastic rhetoric of looking at the, 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 the foreigners and saying that it's bad and criminality and violence and this and that and the other thing. And they use that, that discourse to no end 
to, 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 to reach their aim of provoking fear, hatred, angst, and insecurity in the people, without even having the, the, the wits to provide any solutions or any path toward a solution. Just leveraging fear. Proximity. That's our, ch our biggest challenge. Yes, we are very present in the cyber world. But in the real world, how many of us go and drink coffee regularly in the morning and go chat with normal people when they go to work at 6.30 in the morning before they take the, the, the yes ban to go to the factory? Anyone here? There. Street activism. The challenge of street, street activism. What is it? When you try to give a leaflet to someone or try to approach someone, what is their, their reaction? They find it themselves. Yeah. They don't have time. Exactly. What else? They are not interested. Yeah. Prejudice. Mm hmm. Politics mm -hmm. Also, the key issue is that. When you have someone's attention in the street, you have it for at most 30 to 60 seconds. And within those 30 to 60 seconds, this person will make a decision whether or not he's going to listen to you any further. So you need, in those 30 to 60 second time, in this 30 to 60 second time frame, to be able to give and provide a positive message that is a key differentiator with other political parties. The story once upon a time in a world where is a fantastic trailer for a movie. And if you have the right voice, it can be even nice. But trying to, to impress people on the street with that is not going to work. Because their imagination is going to be taking over as soon as you start the, the second sentence. Because you said, in a world where, in, in this year, we did that and that and that. Yes, but we didn't define yet who you were, what is your motivation, and what you bring to the individual that is listening to you. So, Yes, this is, this is a real sketch. This is one of the, the, the sketches that we've used to develop what we call Identity 2.0. Identity 2.0 is one of the milestones that the Swiss political party, party has set up in order to go in the political battle for the national election in 2015. It has nothing to do to refound the identity of the barracks. But it has all to do with bringing a clear understanding of what is the Parrot Party. Not what are parrots, not what is politics in Switzerland, not what we understand from politics in Switzerland. And it is not a demonstration of political science bachelor term paper. It is just a tool to be able to leverage our assets, our qualities, our values in order to gain attention from people. So basically, and it, it is again a slide from last year, it is a simple three-pronged system. On one side, you have the relationship to the citizen, to the individual. Direct relationship. Why? Because we can't do it. Because anyone can send an email to the president of, of, uh, of the local section or, 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 the national sec or the national party and ask for something. And in general, he would get an answer, right? And we have the means to involve the people in the politics, in building 
a path for a solution and building a consensus. What do we do else? Well, I do believe that we are kind of geekish here, right? No, uh, no, yeah, no. We don't know what technology is. We're not living in, in the next in the next uh, generation or two generations ahead of the rest of the population, right? We don't do that. Uh, we are the information party, no? That comes. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm about to say, yes. But the thing is, during the, the, the interesting thing is, is during that, that general assembly last year, we had a, how do you call that, a futurist. One of these guys that do perspective. And that tells you how the future is going to be looking like <laughs> 20 years down the road. Well, uh, imagine a guy on a Sunday morning like that, telling you that your smartphone is going to be telling you the weather, the traffic jams, and that you're going to be ordering uh, uh, <laughs> cabs and, and looking at traffic jams and God knows what else. In 20 years. In 20 years from now, <laughs> as a general household. Exactly. You're laughing, everyone is looking at me like, he's dumb or what? <laughs> of course. And, and it was the reaction in the room. It's like, we're all already there. That's our life. We're not, we're not in, in, in the current, present time. We'll live two generations ahead. We are this, this bridge between the outcome of the information revolution and its impact on society and the current brick and mortar society. And last but not least, what is the parent party about? It's about mobilizing individuals through democratic actions to influence the society. In French, using action citoyenne to develop and leverage politics. And you see, you go from this very complicated parrot wheel to something very simple. And with those three bits, you already circumvent and outline what is the parent party about. And how long has it taken to say those, those things? If you do it in a natural way, less than a minute, and the person has already key elements about what is the parent party. Not about its history, but what it can bring to people. And that's the key element, is it can now make a decision do I want to listen to this guy or not? Do I want to know, know more about what they can bring to me? Is it an enabler? Yes. Is it working? Yes. But it's not only that. When we developed that, there was two key elements. One, no jargon. This is for everyone to understand. It is straightforward, simple, normal, street language. Two, it is not studies material. It's not about putting your brain matter on walls to demonstrate that you have brain matter. Because people don't care. And furthermore, it can become painful afterwards. It is about a structured approach. It is not just in taking into isolation and saying, okay, we have this here. Now, oh, we'll throw it in the air. No. It's, there, there is more to it. It is the first cornerstone of building a comprehensive system of political life, of a, in, into a political life cycle. A set of principles, a synthesis of what a power party is, its core values. And if you look at, at what you see here, you will find everything here. Straightforward, simple, in an A4 or A5 leaflet size. The whole information I'm talking about today is not 24 pages of theory. 
It's a simple A5 leaflet that we've been using efficiently in Switzerland. It is about a tool that has been <coughs> baptized by fire. If you look, and, and you, can, you can find everything, the whole, the whole system on the, on the URLs I will, I will give you later. But the results also are, are there to talk about themselves. Basically, in 2012, you can count the number of, of uh, radio appearances, TV appearances, to one hand, for the whole of Switzerland. In 2013, as you can see, there were 100, over 125 news articles at regional or national level. There were over 12 TV, main TV uh, broadcasts about the political, uh, about the Pirate Party. And there were over 25 radio shows appearances. Uh, I've lost count of the radio shows appearances because at some point we're doing three radio shows a week on national radio. The key feat that, that we, did, we achieved in terms of media exposure is and basically on August 1st, the Swiss National Day, we were able to obtain three, a three-minute interview just after the um, allocution or the, 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 um, the state of the, the address to the nation of the Swiss president. With the pirate flag behind, the president of the Swiss Pirate Party talking about, about key issues, about Snowden, about technology issues and about what we do. Okay, it wasn't the Swiss French part, since we have two national TVs. But nonetheless, that was the first one of the first major milestones we hit with this communication program. Have we changed our message? Slightly. How did we do that? Well, we said before we were perceived as nightsiders, as naysayers, as technophobes. When in reality, we embrace technology, right? Why? Because instead of looking at the solution and waving, waving and, and weighing the risks and explaining the risks in, in, a, in, a, in a structured approach, all that was left over from our message were the negative risks, the threats. Why? Why is that? Why do they use that in the news? Because blood sells. Angst sells. Anxiety is good for the media. Being positive about things doesn't, doesn't work really. Providing a perspective on things doesn't work either. Why? It's the nature of man. Mm, uh, some people on Sunday morning would, would tell you that in, in other places, but then again, we're not going to be doing that. The thing is that once you start talking about solutions and path towards solutions, medias don't consider you as an outcast. Once you invite people to think about solutions, to express themselves, to become involved in an interactive process, then people do consider you as being a valuable partner. Because you're not coming with your truth to the table. You're coming with a path toward a result. With tools to develop within that path. And that's what we provided. That's the third part of the development of that Identity 2.0 system. And, and you're, going to be, you're going to have time to look at it. I'm not going to present it here because basically if we do that, we're going to be talking about the whole develop, policy development process and how you assess the situation, how you settle 
the 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 um, consensus in order to create a viable solution. A viable solution. It is another challenge. The first challenge is really to grab the attention of the people and be able to distillate the message gradually. Who we are, what are our values, what is our vision of society, and how do we aim to achieve it. So basically, how do we do politics? What do we aim for? What are our basic rules of engagement? And what are we? And the end of reversal. And this tool is to be used in any sense, any ways you want. Going from the tool development tools to the identity, to, to the qualifier of the party, from the qualifier of the, fire of the party to the development tools. You can go one way, you can go the back way, you can shift the order of each of those elements within their their group. If you want to talk about about this. If you want to take those three, you can change them in any way you want, in any order. And some people would prefer the third one, some other the first one, and others the second one, depending on how they feel about it. And how they feel also, how they, they, they resent the, 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 the quality of the listening that their target has. And one of the, the or, or several key elements also in terms of result is Alexei Roussel, so the president of the Pirate Party, was invited to be a member of the panel hosted by the Federal Data Protection and Privacy Officer in Switzerland on the National Privacy Day as one of the key panelists. I mean, for someone representing a party that has no members in a federal assembly, a national assembly, I believe that it represents a good achievement of the work we can do in terms of leveraging our values, our image, our ways, without auto-congratulating auto us ourselves. These are just examples of what we can achieve by using a structured communication approach and how to develop a plan to not just throw a program together for the sake of having a program but go first at thinking how do we communicate with the rest of the population about us because once they know who we are coming with a program discussing a program argumenting about it and selling it because you, in some ways you sell your ideas is much easier it is a much easier battle to fight it's not a more uphill battle it is a flat land battle and you have better chances of it at achieving it than going uphill first to, 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 to to fight the ignorance of people, then to try to convince them, and then try to try to win them over in a very short time period. The way forward, well, resulting from, from the, the work that we've done, we're not looking at program development cycles at all levels. It is not a monolithical work, it is a comprehensive development work. Whether people are going to St. Gallen uh, next weekend or in, in eastern Switzerland to workshops in politics, or they do that in the Lake Geneva region, or they do that at national level um, in, in caucuses, um, that's something that happens and, and that will happen for the, 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 the next year. That is the main goal of, of this year, of 2014, within the program of the, the Swiss Pirate Party, is that all levels within the Swiss Pirate Party have their own program. That means that at city level or at, at, at um, county level, there is, there is something. At 
state, cantonal level, there is a program, and then there is a national program. When we developed the national program in Geneva, we were analyzing every program that were presented for, for the local elections. And oddly enough, what we've noticed is that basically all the major established parties didn't have really a program. Well, actually they had. They were using 60% of the national program to be applied in local politics. Um, they really run national programs in local politics? Seriously. No. That is not, it is not uh, a sane way to do politics. And it is not a, 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 uh, the proper way to, uh, to look at citizens. That's taking them for fools and imbeciles. Now, the other challenge is gaining members, active members. That, we have been somewhat successful over the past year. Could have been better. But the thing that we found out is that basically for every active member that we found that was going to distribute leaflets, talk about the party, use the tools that we have, we have created, we would receive 180 voices in return with those tools that we've, we've developed. That's a huge yield. The average for, for an established party is between 90 and 110 voices per active person. The, 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 the aim also is to enter, enter in, in consultative and governance bodies, meaning that we seek to, to enter in, um, let's say, uh, board level um, representation for foundations or cooperatives, like for instance mobility in Switzerland, where we have now one representative, which is actually Danielle, that has been elected by the gender section of mobility, um, the commissions, and um, at, level, at, at continental and federal level, we have been, we are in the process of, of uh, um, gaining our first commission. And last but not least, is maintain and increase the number of representatives. Um, Within, within the elected body. And for that, we have maintained, we have increased the number of voices that we've captured over the past few elections. Um, one in, in Zurich and the one in Geneva. So basically, it did work. It is not theory. It is part of a long-term plan. It is not something that we've done just for the sake of running for six months and say, yeah, we found out the solution, it's fun. And it is a comprehensive life cycle, meaning that it involves everyone, not just a few thinkers in a corner, but the whole party. So, who am I? Uh, you might have been wondering that at the start, right? I'm, uh, I would say, an entrepreneur, someone that has been around the Info Revolution for quite a while, uh, since the 1990s. I've seen the rise of uh, the first democratic attempts to, to um, interact with people through the internet, with the digital stuff in, in Amsterdam. <coughs> I've been involved in the development of um, several cooperative and, and associative bodies around internet governance, around internet businesses, here as well as in the US. Um, in general, I have no idea of what I'm talking about, but I do believe that I have a little bit of experience. So, any questions? Yep? Your Explanation of the fire party in 60 seconds. Simple. <laughs> Once upon a time. <laughs> no, kidding. Uh, simple. What is the fire party? It's a bridge between the info revolution and the brick and mortar world. 
It is not a revolutionary party. It is a party that is leveraging a revolution. It is a bridge between people and the political world, where people can, can voice their elements, their wishes to the political world directly, interact with them. And it is an enabler for citizens to be active in the democracy, to participate, to sign petitions, referendum initiatives, and contribute to the, the political life. That's the part in 60 seconds. Uh, in Belgium, we have also one guy who has to do an explanation like this, the same, the same recommendation it was, yes, in 60 seconds, uh, we have to test each Belgian guy and it was very, we, we have lost of us, of ourselves because nobody was able to do it in 60 seconds. It was bullshit each time as people were trying to do it. And then he said, each traditional party has a reason, ecologism, socialism, liberalism and so on. But that's the whole politics from the whole centuries. We are the, the party of the 21st century, and we are the information party. And it was taking all the core values, the manifesto, it's always about information. So it just resume, also like you, you said, not, you do not the bridge to, to access to the, to the participation, what I explained better, but I think the, that we also are the information party. So if, if in the 60 seconds you can just put that also, the information party, I think it's a good idea. For me, the, we are not the information party. We are the party bringing the information revolution to the, the real society. Yes, it's about the information, like it's about ecology, mm -hmm. about socialism, yes. about the various. For us, it's about information. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just another idea which is important, yeah. I think, is. Uh, Transforming information into knowledge and knowledge into action. Some kind. I do know. I do not know how to formulate it in it. So it's, it's, it's very important. It's, it is within within what we we um, are presented. It is just that. Yes, I it is. It is the next stage. It is the next stage. Because what I've presented to you is the introduction of our identity to that zero program. Because basically, the two other elements is our societal vision of what we are looking and aiming for in terms of society in general. And then how do we transform the knowledge into politics? How do we harness the collective knowledge, the collective wisdom into bringing it into political actions? And how do we avoid the, the huge trap that we all have, because we're all engineers and technicians at first, is to say, I have the solution! Well, yeah, we all have the solution every, every morning when we wake up. The only thing is, it never works, right? It needs um, a, a lot of, of, of um, work to bring people to a solution. But it doesn't need a lot of energy to convince people to walk along with you to try to build a solution. That's the whole difference. Is rather than trying to say, I have the best solution here because I have a Galaxy S4 or an Apple iPhone, what will happen is that people will, will slam you because you're preaching for one choir or another. Whereas, in reality, the solution might be to have a smartphone, whichever one it is. Any other question? Okay.